people kind of look at me sometimes like I'm crazy. What am I doing with this pit bull and three kids? For me, it's just I'm proud to walk with them. I'm so proud to be a pit bull mom. I was following the Puerto Rico Dog Fund and they posted his rescue. Him in the car, like his crusty eyes. I just could see his soul and he reminded me so much of my Bronx that I just lost. I really just never thought I would get over it and then I saw Carlos. So he kind of like saved me too. He was found with what the vets determined to be a machete wound. Somebody was trying to end his life. He was in such horrible condition and I was like, I don't care, he's, he's perfect. I immediately DM'd them and I said, when he's able to fly, I would love to be his mom. As the guys rolling him from cargo, I just, I just started to cry. It was just, it was so emotional. Hi, baby. I'm your new mommy. I was just happy to finally have him, where I knew that he was going to be okay. Now I could take care of him. My daughter, she just kind of went in her room and grabbed the book and literally just popped on the floor next to him, and she just thought really like reading him was going to make him feel better. I had to actually wind up starting a GoFundMe for him because I became behind on my mortgage trying to help him. I think I went to almost 50 doctor appointments in five and a half months. The doctor thought his hair follicles were so damaged that his hair would never grow back, but he's proving them wrong. He went to the vet on Monday and now solidified his finally being healthy. Oh, my lover. He just like fit right in. They never even questioned why he looked like that. Harlem is my female pit bull. She doesn't like anybody but me. But she really took to Carlos like instantly, which was very, very shocking. I think she knew that he was sick. He's the happiest dog I've ever seen. He just flies through the house. <laughs> He loves to take towels, he loves to take blankets. Leave the nipple alone, look at this. Jalen just loves to lay there and just like rub his belly and play with his damn nipples. It's so weird. I think a lot of times people think of street dogs as they're dirty, they're disgusting. They're not. They're like perfectly imperfect. And they just need love. Oh.